I'm putting in the work. I'm being consistent. Not just each day, not just each year, but each set and each rep. This is what's gonna separate the average from the beast. YouTube, what's going on? I'm back with another video, and I gotta start off with saying I appreciate all the love and support, all the likes in the comments, especially the comments. Um, they help me out a lot, you just don't know. We're working on so much right now, and honestly, it's just a blessing. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, I have a new sponsor coming, uh, but before we get into that, this video today is sponsored by Brooks. If you wanna find these shoes, these are right here are dope. These are the Hyperion Maxes. Definitely one of my favorite when it comes to looks. These are kind of like just more flashy, like these are like more of the vibe. So you normally typically don't see me outside of my black and white Brooks and the other blue shoes that I wear. Those are my favorite when it comes to leg days for sure. Um, and just like kind of like chilling in the gym. When I have to get my cardio in though, I'm always wearing Brooks. So if I know I have to do at least like 20, 30 minutes of cardio, I'll wear my Brooks. I've been working with this company for about six to seven months and the partnership's been great. So if you guys keep up with my Instagram, you see that I do a lot of running. All right, that was like my thing for sure, especially more so like six months ago, five months ago, I would only run for the most part. Like I would do more running than anything else. Then I was like, yo, let me get back into the workouts. So yeah, that covers that. I'm a Brooks athlete if you didn't know already. If you wanna check them out, um, if you're looking for some dope shorts, You'll always see me in these shorts. Nine times out of 10, I'm wearing these shorts. I'm a guy, I like to keep everything simple. I have like five pairs of these black shorts. No, I'm not wearing the same ones every day. But me personally, I like to keep it simple, especially when I'm going to the gym. I don't wanna use my brain power on too many things when I first wake up. You'll see me in like darker clothes or whatever. But yeah, if you wanna find these or any of the shoes that I wear, anything that I wear with Brooks, I'll put the link in the description, all right? That being said, in today's video, we have a chest day, complete chest day. Super excited about this one because at the beginning of this session I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a one rep max or a two rep max I don't like to one rep max anything like if you know me like I'm not like big on going heavy um, but a lot of people are curious on what my one rep max looks like so I'm gonna give them a two rep max on my bench press to start and then we'll get into the workout um, just for me personally people always ask like how did I get huge arms how did my arms get so big honestly when I first started off fitness I was benching all the time like <laughs> my goal was to go from freaking 100 pounds on bench to 1,000. Like, I don't know what my idea was, but I just wanted to get my one rep max super high. I said this before too, but my freshman year, I was 15. I went from 185 to 300 in just a year. So the beginning of the year, I was only uh, benching a 45 and a 25. The end of the year, I was benching almost three plates. That was probably honestly my biggest accomplishment in um, not high school, but when it comes to weightlifting in high school, that was my biggest accomplishment. And that was my thing, bro. Like lifting weights was always my thing. I played football. That was like my priority. That was my love. But when it came to the training, when it came to like putting in work, I was always the one leaving last. Getting there first, leaving last. And that's how I've gotten to where I'm at today. You know, that was like my foot in the door for fitness. But anyways, yeah, today's gonna be super dope. If you have any questions, do let me know. If there's anything you wanna see in particular, um, leave them in the comments. Comment, comment, comment. Like, I don't like to max, I don't even bench press anymore. Like, if I'm being honest, I don't do too much compounds. Um, but I'm only doing this one rep max because you guys are requesting it. and. I feel like my duty is to, you know, give the people what they want. My passion is to help you guys through, you know, my content, my videos, give all the tips, tricks, and knowledge that I have over the past years. But that being said, if you guys are looking for something more, more hands-on, if you need help with nutrition, your supplements, what you should be eating, what times you should be eating, what days you should be hitting chest, back, and legs, um, you can go ahead and download this app right here. That is pretty much the blueprint to everything. And I always say this and I'll keep saying it, it's really good to have a good workout, don't get me wrong. But if you don't have a plan, you're not putting yourself in the best situation to see the best results, you get what I'm saying? So if you want help with your nutrition, training, if you need structure, go ahead and download the app. Let's get to it. My shoulder warm up is always like pretty much the same. Arm circles front, little arm circles behind. I go lat raises, then I'll go down, I'll go lat raises again. And usually like I'll do like a 90, 90 degree hold to the top. I do like three or four rounds. All right, here we'll start off with a light lat raise. 10 pound plate weights. <sighs> Sheesh. Trying to work on that water intake. Right now I'm probably taking in probably about like 
closer to a gallon, but I'm definitely not getting a gallon, so I gotta work on that. So my regimen, usually like when I'm really killing it, I'll do two water bottles. All right, so two 16 ounce water bottles, and that'll give me a two quarter gallon for the day. Make sure you're getting your water in. All right, this might be the last set. We'll see how I feel. Probably go anywhere from like 15 to 20 reps. So when you're getting into a bench press or you know anything crazy, as far as like chest press or dumbbells or anything, make sure you get your shoulders nice and warm. Three, two, one, solid. Woo! Showtime. Alright, I always feel like super crazy filming in certain gyms. This is one of those gyms. So uh, we'll see how today turns out. So this might be like one video of many because honestly I definitely don't feel like I'm gonna get to where I need to get to. And I probably need to get to at least like four or five for it to matter for my size. So we'll see. We'll see if I can get that up today. Shit. Probably should clamp it, but I ain't even worried about the clamp. I'll probably hit this one for four, because it's been a while since I benched. The last time I benched was with um, Simeon Panda, and freaking, I definitely was on a high that day. I was on a lift high, I should say. Don't smoke or anything. But I was on a high that day because I just saw like this like freaking nature. He went from one plate, two plates, three plates, to four plates with the no 25, so I was like, ah, I gotta get the weight up. But yeah, so if I can get like 365 today for two, that's gonna be my goal, all right? I'm just gonna tell myself like, Ash and be smart, you don't have to go too crazy. We go 365 for two, we'll call it a day, then we'll do a, we'll do episode two, and then maybe I'll go 405 for two, but today we won't go anything crazy, so. But maybe we will, let's see. I'm not like the biggest fan of powerlifting just because when I'm lifting with a powerlifter, we always take like at least three minutes. And it's necessary, you know what I'm saying? If you're going heavy, you want to take like two or three minutes, but you know me, like I'm always bored. I want to get straight to it. Yeah, you can always tell when like you haven't been benching or you're doing like a weight that's too heavy for you because your arms will have that like crazy shake. I hate the shake. When I'm shaking, I'm like, okay, I'm either not ready for this weight or I haven't been benching for a long time. That's 315. I'll probably go like 365 for two and I might try 405, so we'll see how that goes. Definitely clamping this one up. Three sixty-five for two. I'm not gonna go four or five, just because it's not smart. But yeah, two rep max. I might either for the editors. I might title it two rep max. I might title it one rep max. Little cables for like four or five sets. to do these, I prefer to do these seated just because you guys already know when I'm standing up, I'm bouncing around. So if I'm in a seat with the cable flies, it's a lot easier. So um, definitely, if you're not doing that right now, you should definitely try that out. This 
movement in particular is going to be working the lower chest. All right, because we're coming right here and we're squeezing at the bottom. All right, now if you want to focus on the upper chest, you can come from the bottom, squeeze towards the top. For me, my focus is the lower chest from right here. Squeeze. Squeeze. You want to just hold, hold at the top and then come back down. So you might be thinking like, why is he going from a fly machine to another fly machine? Uh, this one right here is gonna target a little different. All right, so this one, this last one, we we're focused on the lower part of the chest. This one right here is gonna be more of the full chest. All right, it's not upper, it's not lower, it's just a full chest. Whereas the last one we focused on the lower part of the chest. So that one right there in particular was like, it was way too quick. I should have been moving a lot slower. Like I said, when I do the slot flies, I come up and I try to hold. You wanna make sure you're not just going through the movement. All right, be purposeful. All right, cause a lot of people, like I said, will be doing the same workout as me, but they're not seeing the same, they're not feeling it the same way because you're not engaging. You're not being purposeful with, with each rep. It really looks, should look something more like this. We'll come here, we'll get nice and wide. We'll hold, we'll come back. And I typically do the first six reps like that, and then I'll just speed it up as I get more fatigued. You can't rush your muscles to grow. It's slow, time and attention, that's what counts. All right, so on this last set, I'm gonna go for eight reps instead of 12. All right, for the first five, I'm going super slow. So this right here is a picture of me when I was 19. I was missing 470 pounds. 470 pounds, I was in college going at it. Like, that was my thing. Now, today, you guys can see I'm 27. I benched 365 pounds. So it's just a reminder, like, yo, don't ego lift. Don't worry about how much weight you're getting. Focus on time and attention. Focus on doing the movement correctly. It's not about how much weight you're doing. All right, it's about if you're doing it correctly. So on this next movement right here, we're going to do incline press. We already did like the mid chest, we did lower chest. We did a little upper, but we didn't focus on the upper chest. So on this movement right here, we're focusing on the upper chest. All right, that felt good. So now from there, we're gonna take the seat. We're gonna come a little more incline. We'll grab the 75. 65, 55, whatever you want to use. I'm gonna grab it from the bottom. This is gonna be more so like front delts, a little bit of front delts and also chest. That is a super set. And this is when the workout really gets intense, all right? So the beginning is like we're getting a good contraction. We're isolating the movement, so it's good. Right here, this is where we're really gonna feel it. The chest, incline chest press, we wanna do 10 reps. We'll call that second movement a single dumbbell press. All right, and we're gonna do that for eight reps. The focus of set number two is gonna be to go a lot slower than I did. In today's workout, honestly, I've been the first set, like, I'm not locked in. And then the second one's like, yo, we gotta get better than the, the first. And the third one's like, yo, we gotta get better than the second and the first. You know what I'm saying?
Literally, when I got to like rep number four, I was like, y'all gotta put it down. I'm not gonna finish. Ah, that one hurt, that felt good. This one hit it different. The stuff out there is good. I did the one rep max for you guys. You don't really have to add that to the workout, you can. Felt good benching today, because I never do. I definitely felt like I was a lot more engaged than I used to on bench press. I stopped benching personally because I felt like I was only engaging my arms, whereas on a chest day, I need to, I need to wear out my chest. That's why I do mainly isolated movements rather than benching all the time or just even doing the incline presses. I don't usually do that either, um, but I feel like I'm doing a better job at engaging now. So slowly getting back to it, but I'll probably never really get back into benching how I was. I'm not gonna bench once a week, you know, maybe like twice a month. That's probably like the most I see myself getting back into bench. But set number three, let's get to it. Focus for set number three is gonna be move, to move even slower, all right? Yes, we're moving even slower. That's like my sauce, like that's my thing, time and attention. That's what I focus on. So instead of me going for 10 reps, I'm gonna bump it down to like seven or eight, um, just so I can focus on that time and attention because, you know, once I get to six, like I'm, I'm really already thinking about number 10. I'm thinking about getting to 10. So we're gonna do about seven to eight reps. Um, and on the, Single DB presses, we're gonna do about five. All right, but super slow, let's get to it. No words for that one. We're really in the booth on that one. If you're not finishing your sets like this, you're not doing it right. So yeah, you could be doing the same workout, you could be doing the same movements, but if your heart rate isn't up, you know what I'm saying? If the intensity is not there, bro, you're not really doing it. Push yourself, talk to yourself through the workout if you need to. This is what's gonna separate the average from the beast. Yeah, just lock in, last set, let's get to it. We came to get better. If you're watching this video, you came to get better. I appreciate you for finishing out the video. Don't just watch the first three minutes to see what's going on. You need to watch the entire thing, take your notes, and go do the session. All right, if you're maxing out on the videos, again, guess what, I got more for you. I have nutrition, structured workouts. All right, we're counting your macros. They're doing everything top, literally to bottom. All right, so if you need help with that, Click the link right here, download my app. People are seeing great results. I'll start pushing those out soon. Whoever has the best results on the app, all right, within the next three months, I'm gonna surprise them. I'm gonna bring them out here to Florida. We'll get an in-person session, make some dope content. Um, and that's what I'm here for, man. I'm here to push you guys to get better. That's what I'm here for. This is my duty. You know what I'm saying? I call myself coach because I see you guys. I see myself coaching millions of you. You can shoot me a DM on the Burn and Build app page if you have any questions about the app, any training, any supplements or anything like that. I see a lot of you guys uh, hitting me up and saying like, yo, just subscribe to your YouTube or I found you on YouTube. Man, I go through those messages. I respond to a lot of them. Um, and the ones that I don't, man, this is me responding right here, bro. I appreciate the love and support. It means the world to me. Make sure you're liking, make sure you're commenting if you can. Um, that helps me out a lot. Uh, we have a lot of big things coming. I have a, like a, something so big that I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna announce to you guys within the next like three to four months. We've been putting in crazy work. I actually hired on a whole team. It's like four of us right now. We're just going at it crazy. So stay tuned for that. And that's about it, man. Any questions you got, like I said, leave them in the comments. You can shoot me a DM. Um, if you want more training, the link's right here. And I'll see you guys next time.